All right, so welcome to the next section where we're gonna talk about Excel functions. In the prior session, we talked about building formulas, basic calculations. Now we're gonna take advantage of some of the more built-in tools to get Excel to perform the calculations or automate some of these calculations for us. This automation of calculations is called functions. Now before we jump in and start to dive into the magical world of Excel functions, I want to nail down some of the concepts of a function. Most importantly, the structure of a function. Because once you understand the foundational elements of a function within Excel, you're going to be able to work with the basic functions and understand how the more advanced functions behave and want to be developed as well. So take a look. These are some of the foundational basic elements of any function inside of Excel. And I built a little PowerPoint to demonstrate this here. So first thing, and this is one that we've already discussed, every single calculation that you create inside of Excel from the most basic to the absolute advanced, including functions, they all start with an equal sign. That's a given. We nailed that down in the last section. Always start your calculations with an equals. This allows Excel to recognize that, hey, what this person's about to type into the cell, B5 or E20 or whatever, is a calculation. Now, because we're now discussing functions, the next thing that happens is you specify the function name. There's many different functions, a couple hundred different functions that are built inside of Excel. Some of them are a little more basic. We're gonna take a look at a few of the more common basic functions of Excel during this session. And there's some that are very, very advanced. But you got your equals, you got the function name, such as sum, or average, or min, or max, or vlookup, or if, or if error, or sum if. You got all these functions. Really, they're built-in calculations. By specifying the function that you wanna use by its name, Next, Excel knows what arguments are going to be supplied or needed for this function. So each function has a set of arguments. And essentially, the arguments just tell the function what it is that you want to work with. In the case of a sum function, it wants to know, well, what's the range of cells that you want me to sum up? That would be its arguments. Oh, it's cells A5 through A20. That's the arguments of a sum function. Something like a VLOOKUP, a more advanced function, would have multiple arguments asking you for multiple bits of information. Now let me show you an example. With the sum function, we got the equals, we got the function name sum, open a parentheses, now we have the arguments. In this case, it's just a range of cells. A5 through A6, close the parentheses. Three little parts. But once you've mastered the understanding of, hey, we need equals, you need the function, what type of function you're performing here, and filling in the appropriate arguments, we now understand the basics of basic functions and the most advanced functions out of the box within Excel. 